Hey everybody, this is Jarrell. Um, it's a new year, so I'm starting this year off doing something a little bit different for me. I was inspired to get back into this book, get back into doing sketches. This is a sketchbook, one of many that I have. Haven't drawn on this in probably over a year, which is very sad, I know. Um, but I'm getting back into it, and I was inspired by my wife to actually document the process with these videos. So I'll be doing a sketch every day for 30 days, and some will be short, maybe 10 minutes. Some might be over an hour, um, but this is day one. So here we go. First sketch. This one is just out of the top of my, off the top of my head. It's similar to one of the characters from my graphic novel series, uh, Revelations, which is also the red art. Um, this book. So she shows up in here. This one just trying to dust off the cobwebs and get to it. Um, so throwing together a sketch with her. Um, a lot of people ask me about my process and share some of the story. So this series will do that. This is day one. Next is day two. Hey guys, this is day two. So um, a couple things I didn't mention in the first video. I had a lot to cover and it was my first. Um, the videos are only a minute long. The sketches can take anywhere from 10 minutes to over an hour. Um, yesterday's sketch was of Vashti, the character, uh, one of my characters. And she took like 16 minutes. Yeah. Today is day two. And today I drew big ball of brand. Um, this is LeVar ball. It was a quick sketch I did, took like 21 minutes. This is more um, observational from reference. The other one yesterday was just from my head. So this, a little bit about the process. Um, this is a little Walmart journal or sketchbook. And I'm using um, all like ink, like pen based stuff. We got like, I don't know ballpoint pen, some Prisma markers and gold markers and stuff. So we'll be doing a little bit more about the materials um, as we go through this, but um, day three is tomorrow. Thank you. That was a little succulent. These are Los Dodgers. And this is the sketch for day three. These are grapes. Um, the story behind this was uh, my daughter was drawing in her sketchbook and then inspired me to get into my sketch of the day. Um, so I haven't done a still life in like a while, so I uh, just grabbed something that was in the room, which we had some grapes that were turning soft, and I don't know if you could tell they're a little wobbly. Um, so I did a couple quick sketches with them. Um, one of the artists that, that's one of my influences released a book recently, Jamie Hewlett, um, and he has a whole section on a time when he just got away from everything and started drawing palm trees, I think, or pine trees, yeah. So um, that got me started in a lot of thinking about drawing things I don't normally draw and this was an observational thing that I haven't done in a while. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, minute. Okay, so this is a little bonus segment, an extra minute because um, I can't really cover everything in the minute videos per sketch. So I'll talk a little bit about technique and some of the materials. So like to do some of these things, it's a lot of cross hatching and contour rendering. You can see any of the detail, um, whether it's really detailed or kind of loose stuff. Um, ballpoint friends, like I mentioned, this is a zebra, um, are my friends. Uh, I grew up working with graphite, like pencils and um, colored pencils, Prisma color stuff. And I realized that they don't, well they fade, one, and then the other thing is they don't really get, it's hard to get solid shapes even with a like graphite it'll be just gray you don't really go black so <clears throat> with the ballpoint pen thing go pretty black with doing that um, it just takes more technique and more um, layers um, and it enables me to do fine lines or thick lines um, so hopefully that's helpful if you have any questions leave them as always I'll see you next time hey everybody this is day four so today's sketch is this little tea cup um, I don't know if you can tell but I'm doing a lot of outlines over the all oh, the sketch with the gold marker. Um, it's a metallic gold that smells really bad, but it's pretty much the same tone as the paper, and you only really see it if it's angled in the light. 
um, certain ways. But it looks cool in person. I kind of like it. What I don't like is these black, I don't know if it's Sharpie or maybe one of the other markers, um, shadows that I did. I don't think it's uh, a good solution for that. So I'm going to be refining that in other drawings and doing a little different. <clears throat> the story behind this tea cup is that my daughter is really into tea sets and having tea time. And it's from her set. They're, the tea cups are like this big. Um, so this sketch is one of those which is in the room. Um, so I was thinking of something to, to draw so I grabbed it. Observational art for day four. Thanks. Hey party people, today is day five. Um, day four, yesterday, uh, I think it was like 18 minutes for that drawing. Um, today is a little bit longer, it's 24 minutes. And I drew some feet. <clears throat> These are not just any feet, they happen to be my feet. Um, I was in the canopy outdoors with my daughter. She was drawing and painting on her own. I didn't really have anything on hand, but I did want to do some observational art, so I just drew my feet. Um, and drawing the anatomy is, is kind of, I think it's really important for an artist, especially illustrators, to grasp the human form, which we see like every day, always around us. Um, there's more of a scrutiny to get things right, and there's so many dynamic forms from hands and feet to faces. Um, getting the anatomy done is very critical and that's why figure drawing and um, observational art from life is so critical I think as, as an illustrator so did some of that today excuse me and these are the feet tomorrow we'll see what it brings welcome to day six yes um, yesterday I did some observational art drawing feet so today I thought I would change it up and draw some more feet. Um, this took 26 minutes, a um, couple minutes longer than the last one. The story behind this was, um, this is actually drawn in the same day as yesterday's. Um, apparently, my daughter, who's three and a half now, saw me drawing my feet and wanted me to draw her feet, so she started to pose her feet like this. So, her feet are a little um, pudgy things, uh, much cuter than mine, but yeah, got a lot more detail in them and the little chubby toes and everything. So, as I mentioned yesterday, anatomy, very important for artists to be able to draw from art and life. Um, see you tomorrow. Okay, this is day seven. Today I'm drawing Kobe Bean Bryant. This is one of the longer sketches, um, like an hour, four minutes. I took a little bit more time with the details in his face. I drew this right after the uh, retirement of the jerseys, uh, 8 and 24. This may post a few days later, so I don't know if it'll be completely relevant at the time, but I've done, I don't know, four pieces with Kobe before. Most of them were digital, one was a painting. Um, this, I took a lot of time with the contour lines, uh, not just like cross hatching, but following the form of his face contouring it with the ballpoint pen um, and some highlighting with the silver uh, pen as well. Um, I wanted this one to be more detailed or I just kind of got taken away by the details of it. We'll see what's next. Hey, day eight. Quick shout out to Tank Farm. Uh, this is one of my designs uh, for them. Now let's get into very detailed drawing for today. Um, Star Wars fans, this is Snoke, obviously. Um, the, the the movie that caused a lot of people, a lot of fans to be divided, very polarizing. I'm not gonna talk much about the film because I only have a minute anyways, even though I did really like the movie. Um, inspired to do another face. I think this character really reminded me of, I didn't even think about it, but um, Elemis, one of my characters from Revelations, a very old character who's like a decrepit, in age. Uh, I'm very fascinated with drawing the wrinkles and the turning of the form. Um, the folds of the face, and just a lot of the detail and the dimension in there got caught in a lot of that detail. Um, this one took an hour 34 minutes. I'll probably talk more about it later in my recap. That's it. Hey, this is day nine. Um, changing up a little bit. The last two drawings were faces and observational and they took a long time, very detailed. So just to lighten it up a little bit, because um, a lot of this is about exploration and just drawing different types of ways. Um, so this is a little bit more fun and simple. Um, 
my wife likes the white yogurt pretzels, so we had like a box of these. Um, I was trying to, I was really struggling what to draw this day and trying to figure out like, what could I do? What's different? What is interesting? So I um, saw those, so I just took one out and put on on my laptop and then drew it. So if you remember the teacup, um, I kind of struggled with the shadows and not liking the approach I took. So this is kind of a more thoughtful solution. Um, plus it separates the, the pretzel, which is a white pretzel, um, from the background to help it to pop a little bit better. So I like how the shading kind of fades out. But this one was only 17 minutes. Um, that's all the time I have. Bye. Alright, this is the bonus video for this week. Um, kind of delving back into this drawing, which I didn't have a lot of time to talk about. This is Snoke from Last Jedi. Um, Star Wars has been, is probably the earliest franchise or art that I ever remember drawing. Um, was like TIE Fighter battle scenes when I was a little kid. Can't even remember the age. Um, but <clears throat> every time they have a new series come out, I'm super inspired by it. And I think they have some of the best artists out there working on their concepts and development. So with Snoke, it was um, since he's similar to one of my characters, which I'm very fascinated with the, the wrinkles and the detailed line weights and just all the details and interests, the intricities, the intricateness of it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if you look in close, there's a lot of details and you can kind of get bogged down with that as a whole. So I think I have some, pro like a progress picture of it half done. So what I do typically is just block in the basic overall shape. So just like get the geometric form of what is his head and then get the eyes and the nose and placement for where they are. And then when I go back in, then I can just focus on the area and bring out the details. Because if I try to think about everything as a whole, um, it would just be too much to even think about for me um, and very discouraging. So I did this in two different segments across two different days. Um, just didn't have a lot of time to devote to it and I didn't expect this one to take an hour and a half. Um, so I didn't plan for that, but um, once I was really into the artwork, it just kind of got like so caught up in all of these details, which is not really in focus. But um, <clears throat> so I guess that's the main thing I would say is handle it as a whole, so the placement is there, and then go into the to details and render each one out once you get to a section and kind of I expand it like from the eye to get to the nose in different places. Um, I'll do some more detailed drawings that aren't completely figured out so that you can see some of the progress and the unfinished kind of lines and sketches too. That's it. Okay, day 10. 23 minutes drawing this. Um, this is a logo. Um, some may recognize it. Um, it's not red, but this is what the red R looks like or comes from. The origin of this logo is my graphic novel series, Revelations. It's like a post-apocalyptic story from like uh, almost 15 years ago now. This logo, um, I hadn't really revisited it or tried to do anything with it for a long time. So I figured um, I wanted to take the time to kind of refine it because um, I hadn't been working on this project in, consistently in a while and definitely not on the logo. So I just took some basic freehand um, guides and trying to make a close enough sh perfect circle as possible. So everything is just done with the markers and the ballpoint pen um, to like level it and, and to angle it uh, appropriately. That's it for today.